<laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, hey everybody. Alan Emmerich here from Victory Point Games looking at our next bestseller, Darkest Night, A Voice from the Darkness by Jeremy Leonard. But you're here today for an amazing unboxing video of our new game, Chariots of Rome. So, take out the handy dandy packing knife, no longer allowed on airplanes, and let's see what the printer sent us. This is a uh, rush preview copy, so something might not be packed right or anything. This is our last chance to tell them to, uh, to fix things. Make it look good. Oh, wow, well, shrink wrap. Definitely a good shrink wrap fit. All right. Oh, and uh, the back of the box. You may be curious, what is on the back of the box? I'm glad you asked. Here is the back of the box. All right. Yeah. Let's look inside, shall we? Ave Gamers. We have a rules book, which is roughly the size of the dimensions of the box. And uh, here you can see how to race, nice clear rules, examples, and it's a long extended example of play so you can learn the tricky maneuvers of the track. There you go. And you'll see some good dirty chariot racing. This is uh, one of the games that you might have where your game group will be loud. Do not play this when the baby is asleep. This is a loud game with much uh, flogging of players and ramming of chariots and wreckage all over the place. So, not for sleeping babies. We have counters. Dun, dun, dun. All right. We have, oh, your little markers that go on your display tracks, your chariots. There's two chariots from each color, so each team, uh, a player can run a team or just a single chariot. And uh, on the backs, a little... Stripe and unstriped. Ooh, now the board. Oh, I can't wait to see this. All right. Done. 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 All right. Here we have the massive uh, three foot by one foot ish board for your chariot racing delight. And everything you need to race is right there. So let's leave that in front. Now here we have a flyer. I would like to take a good long time explaining the Victory Point Games flyer and all of the cool stuff that it offers. But I won't. Instead, let's keep looking at components, shall we? Ooh, the plastic stands for the chariots. Oh, we were hoping those were gonna come out right. All right, so the plastic stands come in colors so you can see your team racing color from a mile away. Now where are the counters? Let's pop out a purple counter. Oh, hey. Those pop nice, baby. All right, they're not too onerously thick, which is good. We put one in this little stand, and you are off to the races. All right, oh yeah, you'll see that a mile away. How does that look on the track? That is slick. And when it's your turn, you put this on your start space, and you can just zoom around the track. So you're all set. Dude, let's go racing. I love it. All right. So those worked out all right. Oh, custom dice. Yes, life is all about custom dice. We have two different dice in this game. We have the uh, the dice you use when you shivy that rolls random numbers one, two, or three. Surprise, surprise, Roman numerals. Um, and it's two ones, two twos, and two threes for all you probability enhanced people. And then we have the fake die. <laughs> On the fake die, you see three lightning bolts. Wait a minute, let's see if I can hold the die right. There we go. Three lightning bolts. And that means the gods are going to throw a fate card at you. And then there are three symbols. Uh, there we go. Which means the gods are going to throw something else at you besides a fate card. What is a fate card, you may ask? Well, here we have decks of cards. Let us consult the oracle and see what the cards say. Oh! All right. Who has fingernails around? Here. You got fingernails? Me neither. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Oh, baby. All right. Most of these, as you can see, are action cards. In fact, this whole deck is action cards. What is an action card, you may ask? All right. Action cards, whenever you do something troublesome on the board, uh, whenever you 
take a corner at too high a speed, ram a neighboring chariot, whip your opponent, or land into a danger space. Instead of rolling dice and looking at tables and stuff, you just pull over the next card and you apply whatever result is showing on the card. We really like this system. It's ultra fast. You, uh, you get through your turns quite snappily that way. But I never did show you what those cards were. So let me look at the other deck. So those cards actually look pretty good. Here, we'll just fan those out here. And, of course, there's more action cards. Now, let's see. We have, ooh, charioteer cards. When you race your chariots, each chariot has a driver with its own unique power. So we have lots of different drivers. Lots of different drivers. Holy smokes, Bullwinkle. All right, so there's lots of different drivers out there, each with their own unique on-track skill and ability. Oh! <gasps> The Kickstarter driver, Terrorux. This is the Emperor's favorite. You don't want to be close to this guy when he starts, you know, swinging wide because the Emperor will not approve. You'll get a big thumbs down. Ouch. All right, and then the gods have a bunch of cards with fate. You see, the gods are watching the race, and they have a vested interest in who wins. They take their cultured bets on the race like everybody else. So they may want to try and nudge things a little bit here and there. And when the gods intercede, you draw a fate card. And that's just fun yucks for everybody on the track. And then this is the who's going next or the initiative cards. You make a little initiative stack and you shuffle it up each turn to see which chariot will be going next. You don't know if you're going before or after somebody each round. All right. What else? We've got bags, 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 a box insert, and dun, 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 control panels. You drive your chariot by moving your little markers on your control panel. Um, how many, uh, how much endurance your horses have, how many tactics points you have. Tactics points, they're the best. You get to spend those and flog your opponent and just, it's, it's wonderful. What speed you're running at. Um, all the better things that control a chariot. You know, a long time ago, this game was really complicated, and we worked and worked over the years to make it really simple and put it out there on Kickstarter for you guys. And it turned into a real fun tabletop chariot racing bitter brawl. It's a, it's a hoot. And that is the unboxing of Chariots of Rome. Now, oh! You know what? There's an expansion kit. Whoa! And many of you ordered this expansion kit, so let's take a squint at what kind of expandy things you're gonna get. I'm gonna set the box aside, grab this expansion kit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get more cards, so that means you're gonna find the knife and open the package. Hopefully not cutting off your fingers as I'm about to do. All right, ooh, cardness. All right, let's see what we got here. We got four more charioteers. Good going, guys. We have, oh yeah, the ticklish fate cards. These are the ones that only manly chariot drivers can handle, unless there's a woman driving. These are the new chariot factions. There's faction Purpolati and faction Oromati, so for the uh, Latin impaired, that's purple and gold, just in case you didn't know that. So, and there's two more sets of control panels for purple and gold. Yay! Now your chariot race can go from 8 to 12. Woohoo! Because everybody's got, you know, 11 friends just standing around wanting to chariot race, right? You also get some new markers and tokens to control all of that. And, uh... You basically will have pimped your ride in this chariot racing game with the expansion kit. That is an unboxing of the preview copy that we received fresh from the printer this very day of Chariots of Rome. We'll see you at the Colosseum with a quarter million of your best friends. <laughs>